This is a uh, free NAS 11.2, 11 11.2, as you can see right here, it's free NAS 11.2 release. Uh, I wanted to do a mirror of my boot pool, and I'd already done the install. So if you go under storage here, you can see um, disks. DA9 is my boot pool, and I have an identical disk. DA8 and it's unused right now. I just stuck it in the system. They're both on USB um, hard drives. Uh, yeah, they're SATA SSD is 60 60 gig um, SATA SSDs that are stuck in USB hard drive enclosures. So the first one is the one I installed to, and after I got this all working, I'm ready to make my second one a mirror. And you know, it doesn't make it really easy. You click edit here, and it's like there's no option to you know do it here so I've been digging around I went to pools it doesn't even show the boot pool here probably so you don't screw it up accidentally anyway it took me a while um, wasn't able to find much info on this online so see this is why I'm doing this video because I'm not entirely sure how to do this Boot pool status okay yeah so boot environments boot pool status then you go you go down here yeah yeah you want this attach you're like what the hell does attach mean and we're gonna attach DA8 and use all disk space save Let's go back down here under storage, disks, and now they're both listed as boot pools. So there we go, I've got my mirrored boot pool. Just to be clear, you're going to click system, boot environments, boot pool status. And as you can see now that we're done, it does show me having a mirror here, 8 and 9, they're online. Um, but if you wanted to add one or, like I said, attach one, you're going to click this attach button. You click these little three dots and do attach. And then you would pick the new, the new drive that you're going to attach. I don't have any left, so it's not giving me an option. But, yeah, so we've got eight and nine there. So it's pretty straightforward. I just didn't find this anywhere in the documentation, so that's why I made this video. The, the two drives that I'm using are... Um, Silicon Power brand solid state drives are just not terribly reliable according to the reviews. So now I've got them mirrored. Should make it a bit more reliable for me. Hope this video helped. If you like it, give it a, give it a thumbs up and uh, subscribe. I might make more of these. I'm bound to make more of these. Thanks for watching.